guys. This video is kind of a follow-up, kind of like a inspir inspired by um, a series of videos I did recently where I walked you guys through um, making my Erin Condren vertical weekly kit. I got a lot of good feedback from that, um, and a lot of what people were saying was, thank you, nobody does this, um, because everyone thinks it's a secret. Um, it kind of is a secret how people make their kits, but I'm not uh, a huge Etsy shop. I do have a shop, but it's very, very small. Um, and I wanted to follow up to that video by making this video, which is me making my mini kit. So let me quickly walk you through my um, kit I made in my last series of videos, and I'll try to remember to link that playlist, but we have our full boxes page, our checklists, our half boxes page, our, our little things and washi. Um, up here we have our first functional page, and then here is like another functional date cover deco area page. And then the last page is our washi strips and our glitter headers and regular headers. So this kit has so far been working really well for me, but I always tend to like tweak things and change them as we go. Um, I decided to also come out with a mini kit. Right now, I also make personal kits for myself. Uh, they are meant to be used in my So Much Crafting inserts for my rewind planning. And I was, as I was looking through like what was in the kit, I realized that I was basically making a less good version of a mini kit. Um, so I decided that I was just going to take my personal kits and make the mini kits that I could post and sell, um, but that are also kind of, they're I don't know how much more functional they are for me, but they're definitely going to have fewer stickers that I don't use. So right now, my personal kits, I'm holding them in my hand, and I probably, you know what, let me try to pull one up. So here we have one of the more recent personal kits I made. Let me walk you through the four pages of the kit. I think the page size itself might be smaller as well. So page one, we have our full boxes, a like smaller weekend banner than I usually have, and these like glitter dot things that I never use because they hurt my hand. Then we have quarter boxes, appointment labels, some three dot checklists, you know, all kinds of functional stuff. Over here we have the third page that has that side washi that I need and like little things, headers, washi, and then it also comes with glitter and that's way too much glitter headers because who needs that many glitter headers for a tiny tiny insert for a personal planner and then a deco page so what I've decided to do is take things that are in here and kind of like basically I'm getting rid of glitter headers making this a smaller section and just reformatting this all um, to make it suit what I need so before I move on to making this I did want to tell you um, some of the parameters I'm playing with the first one is it is going to be four pages, the size of this box right here, or whatever size I use in the vertical. Um, so that means it'll print on two pieces of paper. That's how I want it. And here are my basic needs of, or wants, I guess, of things I want to make sure I keep in there. So it's eight full boxes, some um, a small selection of headers, a small selection of littles, half and quarter boxes, with leaning more towards quarter boxes necessary than half, appointment labels, habit tracker, washi strips, bottom washi, deco, um, two ombre weeklies, though I'll settle for one, <clears throat> small icons, I said I didn't need the large ones because I just did, um, three dot checklist, these things right here, flags, uh, so like these guys here, but flags that'll fit the Erin Condren, and a weekend banner. And I specifically wrote in my little notebook here that I didn't like this weekend banner. So I'm going to clear out all of these things. I'm actually going to leave these vertical templates open, and we're going to get started. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I dragged this, like, cover page from uh, one of my, my vertical kits, and I'm going to go ahead and start by making the full box page, because that's the easiest page. Um, full boxes for this will be the same as full boxes for my Erin Condren, which is 1.5 in width, 1.9 in height, and then I'm going to do an offset. An offset is just like a box around this box. I make mine 0.03, and the purpose of that is the, whatever's in this blue box that I just made is what is going to end up being the design and the red line as the cut. 
So it means that if my silhouette, my cutting machine isn't perfect, then it is okay. Okay, then I'm going to go to the replicate tool and I am going to go ahead, sorry, I'm not used to this new replicate tool, so I'm not sure what all these suckers are over here. But here are my eight full boxes. I'm going to group these all together. Oops, not ungroup. I'm a mess. So I'm going to go grab my weekend banner from my vertical kit and see if it'll fit here. So here's the weekend banner. I'm going to flip it on its side. Where is the... Th I'm very not used to this. There it is. No, nope, 270. Ooh, I don't think it'll fit. You know, if I make it just a teensy bit smaller, it might. So I made the weekend better just a teensy bit smaller so it will fit. And I'm very happy with this. I do have room here to add in something else if I need to, but I'm not sure I need to. So let me go ahead and ungroup this top thing because I need to change this from saying vertical weekly kit to saying mini weekly kit. Group that. Cool. All right, so what do I wanna make next? Let me think about it. So next I'm gonna make my washi page just cause that's simple. Um, a lot of the stuff for this I'm not actually going to be making just because I already have all these videos of me making the stuff, there's no need to do it twice. So I'm dragging the entire washi page over here basically, and I'm gonna pick and choose what I want. So on this page, I also want to be able to fit lots of other things. Um, so let's figure out how I'm gonna do this. I'm also going to go grab on this page, just grab the whole thing and I'll deal with it later. I want the habit tracker. Okay, I'm just going to align these whatever way it looks well looks good to me with the washi and I'm gonna group all the pieces those pieces of washi and deal with what's down here. So down here I could keep just the washi, but I think there's enough room here for me to have a small deco section. So I'm going to delete two of these. Now the question is if I want to just keep these two like this or try to fit in more washi or like more variations of washi. You know what, I'm just going to keep these two here and this will be my washi page plus habit tracker plus deco. Weird Mod Podge page. So let's move these two to the side. I'm going to cross off all the things I already have and we'll get moving. There is still a lot of stuff on my wants slash needs list here. So we got a lot of work still ahead of us. All right, so what I decided to do is I'm going to over here on the right hand side, make basically, not make, but bring over or make, I guess, everything else that I would like to have in this kit because I think that will make this decision a little easier. So let me go grab everything. Okay, everything here kind of represents what I want. Uh, the small selection of headers, the small selection of little things that I will grab from these two boxes. Um, let's start actually with our checklist because that is a non-negotiable on this one. Let's put them over up here. So I need at least seven of them, but I was hoping to fit eight. So I'm gonna start with eight and we will see what happens. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this is eight, right? Yes, that is eight. Let's then grab our weekly ombre.
try to fit two, but I will settle for just one. Um, since we're on checklists, let's put these in here. Again, I would prefer to have uh, two of these, and I'll put in two for right now, but I will settle for one. Small icons? Small icons could fit in there. That's fun. Put some appointment labels. Will a large one fit? I don't think so. Oh, it will. Let's space those vertically. Great. And I can obviously fit two of those in this space because they're the same size as thing above it. I need at least two flags, maybe more. Okay, I don't think this will be as difficult as I thought it was going to be to fit in everything I need, which makes me happy. So let's go ahead and put in two flags. I'm going to rotate this. Wow. The all this whole new uh, setup is just driving me bonkers. By uh, the silhouette setup, sorry. Okay, I'll figure out those two later. And this gives me a lot of room still to play with. So let me make all of this fit in here a little nicer, and then we can move on. Okay, so there's a little bit of space here left, but I got, I'm got i kind of out of ideas. So I'm going to table that for now and work on this box right here. Because honestly, I could make this a deco area and add my washi back, which is a fun idea that I am really liking. Hold on, let's do that. Okay, so um, in terms of headers, let me, I guess, let me work on them here so I can see them. I am thinking two rows of headers, so I'll keep all the bottom ones here. And then I could do one to do, one today, one little things, and one that I'll figure out later. So making little things isn't fun, in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I've shown how to do this before, so I'm not going to talk my way through it. Really, this isn't a very instructional video. Sorry about that. Okay, that was easy because I just remembered I didn't have that many to make. The little things will be less fun. In case you're wondering, the height of my headers is 0.25 inches. So let's go ahead. Um, I just remembered I'm going to uh, need that box. That box. So let me group these suckers together and drag down what I need. Alrighty, those are our header things. I decided to do work as the last header. I think that will serve a lot of people. So let's drag this over here. Next, little things. Um, so I'm thinking a row of meals, a row of TV, a row of packages, and then this like last row that has like two hearts and two stars. How many is that? Four rows? That works. Um, my little things are slightly different in size than my headers. My headers are 0.25 inches in height. My little things are 0.3 inches because I have to write all my little things. And if they're too small, then my handwriting looks terrible. So I'm going to use the same style as I did to make my headers. I'll just make my little things here and we will be right back.
So I was going to have this bottom row be two hearts and then two asterisks, but I decided to just keep it all hearts for one reason and one reason alone. I really don't feel like putting in the asterisks. I'm just in a kind of lazy mood. I shouldn't do this designing stuff when I'm in that kind of mood. Okay, let me cross off headers and littles, and now we will move on to boxes. These boxes. There's not much left on my wants list, so I can fit in these half and quarter boxes, and I could probably fit in more stuff, but let me just make these nice and snug here. At least vertically. Okay, so there's actually a lot of room left. Um, I'm going to grab both some large and skinny appointment labels. They would both fit. Hmm. Hmm. What do I want to do? Let's do this. Hold on. Okay, so two large and then two skinny ones. So, yeah, let's go ahead and make this all lined up. Okay, so we obviously have that little bit of room right here that we can put in what we would like. Um, there's a lot of options for what could go there. Let's go through my vertical kits. To see, actually, let's start with my personal kit, then look at the vertical kits to see what I might want to put there. So the only thing I could think of to grab were these character girls that I've been putting in all my kits. Um, I obviously can't fit all of them in there, probably. So let me go ahead and ungroup these and just choose my favorites. So the planner girl is obviously a favorite. So is the girl on the computer. Um, okay, uh, I couldn't fit two in there, which is a bummer, but still. All right, guys, you stuck it out with me. Let me delete the rest of these over here that I didn't end up putting in the kit. But I think this is a pretty good mini kit. We've got eight full boxes in our weekend banner. Um, two of the large washi bits and then a lot of washi strips and two habit trackers. Eight checklist, two three-dot checklist, the flags, a small amount of, actually this is a pretty big deco area, our small icons, two appointment labels, two weekly ombres, headers, little things, half boxes, quarter boxes, two more large appointment labels, and two skinny ones, and a lot of character stickers. So um, I'm going to go ahead and make a kit with this and print it out and cut it. Um, but that footage is going to be from a few days from now because I am fully out of ink. And my new ink won't get here for at least another, I think, three or four days. Hey guys, I am all ready to make this kit and print it out. I decided to make a mini kit of my Cozy Fall vertical kit. Mostly because I had it open when I went to do the mini kit because I just printed it. Um, but let me show you that kit so you can see um, the difference between how much is in that versus this mini kit that I'm about to make. We got page one. Page two, zoom out a little bit. Page three, it's a lot of deco. Page four, and page, oh, that's it. So I'm going to copy most of this stuff from the uh, vertical kit, put this all in, print it, cut it, and I'll be back to just show you the final result like in my hand.
Okay, guys. Um, all put together, I'm going to go ahead and put this on two different pages, send it to my printer, cut it all up, and um, we'll see what it looks like. I'll try to grab my phone, which is my camera, and get some footage of me printing and cutting it. But other than that, if I don't, I will see you back um, with my main camera and my setup outside the computer world. All right, sending to printer now. The first page is sent. Let me set the second one. I have an HP Envy Photo 6255 printer, and I absolutely love it. It works really well with my paper. Let me grab this while we wait for the other one. Look at those colors. All right, page two printing now. Okay, and we have page two. I'm gonna bring these over to my desk and we'll take a look at them. So we're at my desk and I just wanted to show you like the differences between what it looks like on screen versus this. It actually looks, it looks absolutely amazing. So we've got that first page, the washi page, the functional and deco page. And the very functional last page. Okay, so I'm gonna go stick this in my silhouette. Uh, I do force of seven, let's do it this time. Six was a little rough last time. Um, and send. So I'm all connected. Let me swing my lamp over. Uh, and I don't use a cutting mat. Um, I probably should, but I found that I don't need one. Okay, so that fun little fiasco taught us a few things. One, my settings might be a little too high, as you can tell by cutting all the way through. Which I don't understand. I've been using the same settings forever. Um, but also, yeah, we should, pr I should probably use a cutting mat. So I guess I'll go find my cutting mat and at least we'll cut this second page correctly. And I'll obviously reprint this. All right. Not sure if I'm stupid or not, but I'm doing this one more time, um, with no mat because I want to see, I'm playing with the settings over here. I want to see where I went wrong. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so it definitely didn't cut all the way through, and it's cutting fine, so I'm just going to let it go and then talk to you once this is done, because this is very loud. Okay, so these cut pretty good. Um, I don't see any, like, weird cuts anywhere on it. So you might have noticed one of the things that I cut was the outside edge, um, and the reason I do that is I used to have my silhouette cut all the way through on a second pass, but you need a mat under it to um, be able to do that. So what I do is I have these cuts made where it's like not all the way cut through. So they're just basically guidelines for me. And I just take out this cutter thing that I actually got at a yard sale. I line things up and I trim. I think I got it right on the line. So let me go ahead and trim these all up. to put these in ever but I think I like this so here it is uh, you guys were with me from start to end with this but our front page um, with our full boxes and weekend banner that turned out really pretty we have our washi strips our bottom our washi strips bottom washi and the two habit trackers checklists um, 
check thingies, three whatevers, wow, uh, weekly ombres, two appointment labels, two flags, deco, small icons, a small selection of headers, small selection of little things, half boxes, quarter boxes, large and skinny appointment labels. We have um, our girls here on the side. So let me make sure I have everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take some pictures with this because this is going to be something I'm selling on my Etsy shop. Um, and you guys, I will leave a link to that below in case you're interested. So I'm gonna take all the listing pictures for that. And then I'm going to grab my design planner and I'm actually going to do like a fast forward um, planning using this kit to show you how it would look in a horror or, or a weekly planner uh, or Erin Condren um, I intend to use my mini kits in um, my personal planner but I did want to show how these would work in your like everyday vertical planner so let me take those pictures and I will be right back for the rest okay so I took all my listing pictures that did not take me very long and I grabbed my design planner uh, my design planner is kind of what exactly what it sounds like a planner for the things that I design that aren't for myself because I do make a lot of kits for myself um, this is just where I put things so I can show them so what I have in here so far is a January monthly I was working on this led to some very necessary changes I needed to do and then this is my pastel fall collection or vertical kit and this is what my stickers look like when they are as a vertical kit in your planner and then on this next page I'm gonna go ahead and just use these so I'm going to fast forward through this and put down um, a sticker kit spread with this and I'm really impressed like other than definitely missing headers which I mean isn't as big of a deal in the new Erin Condren this like was a lot like if I had regular checklists I could have very easily done still no white space um and other than that like they've covered so let me show you what's left uh the front page with the ch uh, boxes and the weekend banner is completely done I still have a lot of washi left which I'm impressed by I still have a lot of icons even though I used a lot of them and I forgot about that and still a lot on this page like what I'm saying is I have still a pretty good amount of stickers left and if I tried hard enough I could have done this no white space anyway I'm going to also take pictures of this spread for the listing thank you guys for joining me joining me from like beginning to end you know I haven't done one of these videos where I like make a template make a kit print and cut and then like put it all together I think ever because like I've done parts of that and then put it all together in like a series of videos but this is the first time in one video doing it from start to end so sorry this is probably really really long but thank you guys so much for joining me I will leave a link down below for this kit if you're interested in buying it I believe it's only going to be five dollars um I, I price my kits pretty low so yeah, oh, there's also a link down below for, I think it's 15% off your order, so use that. So the kit is $5, but if you use the coupon code below, it comes out to $4.25, which plus shipping is only like $7, which is a great deal in my opinion, so check that out. Um, and thank you guys again for joining me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.